From the living rock to a fish that walks, we count 10 weird creatures that actually exist. Number 10. Purple Frog These frogs, complete with a bloated body, very tiny head, and an unusually pointy snout, almost resembling an anteater or a pig, are found in the Western Ghats in India. You won't see them roaming around very often though, as they only actually spend two weeks out of the year on the surface of the earth, only leaving the underground for mating purposes during monsoon season. Since there are less field scientists out during the rainy season, their existence has only been discovered and studied more recently. But in 2015, it was discovered that tadpoles of the species are traditionally consumed by local tribes. Number 9. Panda Ant Despite the name, panda ants actually belong to the Mutilidae family, consisting of over 3,000 wasp species. They are found in Chile and get their name from the wingless females who resemble large, hairy ants. Known for their extremely painful stings, panda ants are often called cow killers or cow ants because of their panda-like spots. Unlike real ants, they don't have drones, workers and queens, but the males do have wings much like the ant family. They also have unusually tough exoskeletons helping them invade the nests of insects, usually ground-nesting bees, to lay their eggs near their larva, becoming something like a parasite and eventually killing their host within a week or two. Number 8. Okapi. Part giraffe, part zebra, this odd mammal is surprisingly not a strange breed of the two. It is actually more closely related to giraffes, making them the only two living members of the Giraffidae family. Native to the lands of the Democratic Republic of the Congo in Central Africa, they are herbivores, primarily feeding on tree leaves, grasses, ferns, fruits, and fungi. Okapi have large necks, standing tall at 1.5 meters or 4.9 feet, just shy of their giraffe brothers. This species is endangered due to the loss of its habitat to human settlement, and the illegal hunting of okapi has also led to the sharp decline of the species. Number 7. Red-lipped Batfish Found in the Galapagos Islands, this fish actually doesn't swim. Instead, it uses pectoral fins to walk on the bottom of the ocean. Thus, it's primarily found in depths of at least 30 meters. Known for its bright red lips, this creature has a structure on its head used for attracting prey like small fish and small crustaceans like shrimp and mollusks. Number 6. Hummingbird Hawk Moth This strange hawk moth resembles a hummingbird. It even feeds on flowers, hovers much like hummingbirds, and makes a similar humming sound while flying. With abilities rare even for hawk moths, this species flies during the day, especially in bright sunshine, as well as at dusk, dawn, and even in the rain. It is also surprisingly good at learning colors and has been much studied for its amazing visual capabilities. Number 5. Glaucus atlanticus also known as the blue dragon, this creature is actually a type of sea slug as it has no shell. Found in the warm waters of the oceans, it floats upside down on the surface of the water thanks to gas-filled sacs in its stomach where it can be carried along by the wind and ocean currents. While it might seem lazy, the blue dragon also packs quite a sting to protect itself against its predators. Number 4. Thorny Dragon this lizard looks so similar to the popular mythical creature, it could possibly be where the dragon stories came from in the first place. Coloured in camouflaging shades of browns like its habitat, the desert, that's not the only trick the thorny dragon has up its sleeves. It has a false head that it presents to its predators while dipping the real one to keep it safe as well as a conical spine covering for added protection. Found in Australia, the thorny dragon is the sole species of the genus Moloch, but many taxonomists believe there may be another species in the wild yet to have been discovered. Number 3. Venezuelan Poodle Moth First discovered in 2009, we still have a lot to learn about this alien-looking moth. Dr. Arthur Anker recently found this little creature in the Gran Sabana region of Venezuela. While it bears similarities to the muslin moth, it is believed to actually belong to the Lasiocampidae moth family, which is also known as snout moths due to their snout-like appearance. Number 2. Goblin Shark This rare shark is also known as a living fossil because it is literally the only living representative of the family Mitsuccarinidae, whose lineage is near 125 million years old. With pink skin and protractable jaws containing nail-like teeth, it looks a lot scarier than it actually is. 
While goblin sharks inhabit the waters around the world, they are found at depths greater than 100 meters or 330 feet underwater, usually in submarine canyons and seamounts, making it no danger to humans. Number one, Pyura chilensis. This tunicate of the family Pyuridae is also known as living rock because on the outside it resembles, well, a rock. But once you cut it open, it seems to be filled with a mass of organs. It is often found in the dense aggregations off the coast of Chile and Peru, and it feeds by filtering out microorganisms from seawater, often called a filter feeder. Apparently, it's also quite the delicacy for many locals. 